You take yeah, it over. Oh, yeah, it's part. Okay. <laughs> we, st we need to get one for the office because now we're in the office. There's no, there's no Wi Fi hardly. The Wi Fi comes this way now? Yeah. Uh, I thought you didn't need it because you're hardwired. Well, in her phone, our computer has it. Yeah. Oh. You can take the one out of your office and put it in there. Yeah, mine's perfect. Jim's not sure we're going. No, he's not. He's not. He's got a headache. He's got a sinus headache. Okay. Is Melissa going? She's in the, she's in the other meeting. Oh. She should be here. Should we tell her it's time to leave? Yeah. Since we have a short agenda. Or a short Bruce, meeting. Bruce, is that noise coming from your, the sound coming from your stuff? Where's the sound coming from? Do you know? Oh, why is it coming from there? <coughs> Is there on, are they doing Zoom or something? Is that's that the way they're doing Zoom through here and bouncing it to the other meeting. But how is it coming through this computer? This is You don't want to turn it off. Can you just turn the volume down? Yeah. If I turned it off, would it? Yeah. So, you see some? Okay. Technology is great <laughs> when, when you don't have to figure it out. Oh, yeah, they're recording right there. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Be careful because you may. But, yes, it's on. Here, let's see if we can just move. That's interesting. Is it still happening right now? Yeah, I can hear your voice. So you have to turn the TV on and lower the... Turn to lower the volume. It's not coming from the TV. It's not coming from the TV, it's coming from the... Try lowering that volume. There you go. There you go. There you go. Alright. Okay. You got it? Yep. I just lowered the volume Sorry, on the plane. Nope. You're here. Okay. I thought you were right. watching yeah. it on here. Yeah. yeah, that's what I thought. Why is it coming through this TV? Because I don't know. The planning commission is in my house. So we're using this. Shane, are you ready? No, no, it's still coming through. Okay, so I think they can't hear me in the room. It's coming through the computer, not through yeah. the... Right, but if you turn on the screen, we can turn on the volume. No, I did. Yeah, she did that. Muted it, I thought. The only thing that I... This is weird. Right now, I don't know what she's about. I have whatever. I have more technical issues. Didn't see. What happens if someone doesn't have a starter method? Like, will only people there be a fine? Because they're not going to be able to see the screen. Yeah. Okay. That did it. Yeah. Right. <coughs> I, hope you don't I apologize mind if I for being late. With you. No What's that? I hope you don't mind if I sit. No, you. not at all. All right. I'm leaving at six. Like to call the uh, special select board meeting of Tuesday, December nineteenth, twenty twenty-three, to order. Any additions or deletions to the agenda? Seeing none, we'll move on. Minutes approval. Meeting of 12-4-2023 and 12-14-2023. I move to approve the minutes of the select board meetings of December 4th, 2023 and December 14th, 2023. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, item four, select board pay orders. I move to approve the pay orders for payroll and accounts payable. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Item five, announcements and correspondence. Can I just make one yep. announcement? I have um, initiated a tax sale 
we have 15 properties. Um, hopefully, um, getting a letter from the lawyer will initiate some payments. Payments, yeah. yeah. So, tell about me, hundred and ninety thousand dollars. Tell me what that means. Um, I'm starting the process of putting people up for tax sale. Anybody who's two years or more. Tax, tax, tax sale. Tax yeah. sale. T A X. Okay. Delinquent taxes. Delinquent taxes. Thank you. It sounds like a tag sale. No, no it, it is. <laughs> it is. But for property. Sorry. Okay. okay. <laughs> so you. I'll keep you posted on that. Is that excessive compared to past previous years? Mm -hmm. No. Half of them usually get paid off yeah. before yeah. anything happens. Yeah, yeah. One hundred and ninety thousand in value. Just keep exciting. One hundred and ninety thousand. Are many yeah, of those okay. occupied? I don't know. How many of those are occupied? Um, a couple of them are businesses. A couple of them are second homes. There's maybe three or four that are occupied. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Thank you. Do you have anything, Shane? Um, just that Tom noted today that we have one of our radar feedback signs out, the one that's uh, northbound on 100, just south of the plaza. And there's some photographs there. It's been whacked. I don't know what it was, but it's split open. It's got a, uh, It's not <coughs> operable. After the meeting, I did a little research on it, and after the meeting, I'm going to try to see if I can have it disconnected remotely. Um, but so someone gonna, hit it? I don't know what happened, but you can see that you know it's split right open. So it's ice threw up, you know, got thrown to it with uh, snow plowing or equipment hit it. Something split it open. I um, noticed the last few weeks it's been, or the last week or so, it was <coughs> only registering when you're just about at it. Yeah. And yeah, then today it was just red with one, a backwards nine, and an eight. <laughs> yeah, this, uh, I ran on. Uh, Something on the com the computer program. It says last communication is December sixth oh. at nine o eight. Nine o eight a.m. or p.m. It would be a.m. Well, is there a warranty on these things? That uh, that's not a warranty, warranty item. So we'll do, I know. We'll, we'll do Might a, be an uh, insurance, insurance claim. claim. Yeah. So it's a thousand dollar thousand dollar deductible. Uh, the unit's three thousand plus installed, thirty five hundred probably. I wonder if they would take. Um, any of the, or if it's repairable or just replace it, they'd have to assess it, no the idea. company. Yeah. 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 Maybe we, was, that a, was that a snowstorm day? I'm no, sure. that was a Wednesday. Hmm. All our snowstorms have been Mondays. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just wondering hmm. if then we can go after the state. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, we can't because no. it's in there right of way. It, it, per, we have a permit <coughs> which says we're on our own. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Hopefully it doesn't just repeatedly happen. It's right. 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 You should probably put it up a little higher or make it, put it on a different, at a different location. Mm. We'll, we'll figure it out. Just okay. you know about it. Thank you. And that's all you got? Yes. Sir, item six, visitors and concerned citizens. Have anything for it? No. no? We'll get there. <laughs> Move on to item seven, town official business. Seven A's village wastewater committee considered north village project. You want to take the lead on that one, Shane? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> you remember at the last meeting, we had Chrissy Haskins, um, our engineer from Dufresne Group here, and she had uh, pro provided a kind of synopsis of where the project was. And since that time, we got a call last week from the um, Department of Environmental Conservation's uh, project leaders uh, on this project. And um, uh, I, I called Tom to get to, to be part of it, and uh, Sharon was unable to be part of it. But um, long story short, they are saying we have until the end of this calendar year to make a decision, basically to fish or cut bait on North Village, because their feeling is that there there's not enough opportunity for siting of a community system. That's they, their decision, or that's the town's? Well, that's, that's we, we have to make a decision on what we want to try to do. Right. Yeah, but the, there's really, a, we had hoped to have Chrissy here tonight to maybe give some results on the um, uh, test pits that were done last week, I think it was Thursday or so. I uh, don't have that information. That would have been for the Prouty um, land and possibly for Custer Sharp. They were at Custer Sharp. Yeah, and then one other... I thought the Prouty land was already done. 
I thought Custer Sharp was already done. Yeah, yeah, not Custer sure. Sharp was not done. I think yeah. probably, probably Anyway, was, so but. new information is going to be coming in. So the, the board needs to make a decision one way or another. Well, just let me... You, so we've got you know almost four million dollars for of ARPA money for each village. Um, they did say we you know if we can't go forward with the full project, we can always um, kind of scale back to cluster systems, maybe smaller systems, and therefore a smaller dollar amount from the um, from ARPA. Um, but they do want us to make a decision relatively quickly. I know that there's a meeting after this of the wastewater committee, mm -hmm. right. and so. Probably there'd be greater information available there because the state folks would probably be part of that that meeting. So it's kind of it's too bad the meeting wasn't held prior to this one, so we could get more information. But right now they do want the town to make a decision before the end of the year. Um, maybe a special meeting next week, or the board could just say, "Well, we don't have a, a site yet." But absent that information, new information from Chrissy um, Haskins on the viability of those North Village properties, it, it would be tough for the board to make that call at this time. But if we hear that Prouty <coughs> and Custer Sharp or one of, either of them is viable, shouldn't we consider staying with the project in the North Village? The reason I think the Prouty property is already done is that's part of the South Village. And that's why right. they're saying South Village is feasible. So I'm pretty sure Prouty property has already been done. Well, the problem is there's no sites in the North Village. Well, right. and we'll know more. Um, I'm planning on attending, and I think Martha yeah. is planning on attending based on our last select board meeting where we will, we mm -hmm. offer to be the liaisons from the select board to attend these meetings. Mm -hmm. So if everyone can just perhaps sit tight until we hear tonight. And um, does it require an actual face-to-face -face meeting, Shane, for us to make a decision? You could well. You could do a Zoom meeting. You know, that's that's possible. Mm -hmm. You don't have to have a physical presence anymore. There's, as far as and I know. you asking Melissa if, if we could pending information, viable information in the meeting at six o'clock. Go ahead and approve it if if we get good results for the North Village. Well, I mean, we'd. Have, I was just trying to see. Mm -hmm. I know we're in a time crunch. I mean, the end of the year is only a few days away. So, and it's holidays and people are going away and, you know, it's right. going to become difficult to get a, a, a quorum together to say, so I, I just want to, but I'd like to give them every opportunity to come back with some results that actually are exciting. But it sounds like they're going to have to be very exciting. Well, Otherwise, very what? Very exciting. Yeah. It, did, it didn't sound like they were willing to really... It Go sounded ahead. like from Chrissy though that you, we could do all or part, right? There, we don't necessarily have to be able to fund the entire project. We could use like just say a million of the four on yes. one small piece. Yeah, it might not serve everybody, but it would. We can spend the money that we can spend, but we're not getting the money if we can't spend it. Right. They would like to allocate, you know, instead of they would like to give us a haircut of. Half, you know, half the project, whatever that number is, to allocate to another location right. in the state. Um, that's what they'd like to do. So what are they looking for from us, Shane, just at the, you know, from the select board that we say we'd like to continue or we recognize that we do not have a viable um, uh, it seems to be the Property. latter. That, that was my read. That they, they're saying to the town, you don't have any. Yeah. You're not going to be able to spend this money. All of it. Correct, all of it. Yeah. And you're not going to be able to do the full project. You're going to have to do just pieces of it, and therefore to um, turn back those some funds. of the funding. So I guess my question is, do we have to say to them before the end of the year, we would still like two million dollars right. to pursue the cluster? Um, system, mm -hmm. or can we say we recognize that all four million doesn't belong to us because we don't have the Bible land, mm -hmm. but we like whatever we can use. Well, it wasn't as hard and fast. We don't have it in writing specifically mm -hmm. what they're oh. looking for. Yeah. So, hope, again, I think it makes a lot of sense for you, the two of you, to, to be at this meeting this evening and. 
Uh, if Emily from DEC is there, just ask point point blank because okay. you know I have notes, but it it wasn't as clear as I would have hoped to have no, heard. No, it wasn't that. fully clear. Well, Are you okay like, with us doing that? Yeah. Right. Trying to save as much of the allocation. Um, but we're still gonna. It sounded like they wanted us, the board to approve either doing cluster mm -hmm. systems or have some sort of plan. Right. That's kind of what Chrissy what said too. Was if. You, if you approve a different type, you might be able to spend some of it by approving the cluster type. Maybe, maybe the yeah. question of Emily is, can we wait till the 8th of January? Yeah, I, yeah. Which is very really likely the next meeting. Push yeah. them back a little bit on the time frame. That was a little... Right. Well, I think so. Yeah. Well, some of this has been told to the committee months ago. Well, now the select board will be attending the meetings, so... Yeah. We'll be able Hopefully to report back. Directly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll be able to report back, which I think will be will be helpful, Tom, to yep. make yeah. sure that it's and a two way street. Maybe just saying out loud that our regular meeting is the first week of January. They might say, yes. "Oh yeah, that's the first of the year." Yes. <laughs> Close enough. Right. You're you're absolutely right, Tim. Yeah. Yep. Well, technically, it would be the second week. If we move it tonight, our first the, the our way. first acknowledgement of the new year. How's <laughs> That's that? Right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So we'll move on to item eight, then Chantry Station Solid Waste Management AA's updates. So I have two updates. Um, we had some metal sleeves installed over the wires on the compactor, so hopefully the rats won't get to it anymore. And the second one is there is something at the transfer station drawing a significant amount of power all day, every day. Rats. What do you mean? The they, power bill has so gone up 300 bucks. We're, yeah. So is somebody stealing power? We don't know what's going on. And Weird. It's so it, anything <coughs> over seven watts per day is a $20 an hour watt charge. So there's something that so and I looked on so you can look at the daily usage and last Wednesday or a couple of Wednesdays ago it was seven all day long even usually it's you know in the morning it's higher Wednesdays usually it's really low because there's kilowatts there. you said right uh, what is it on kilowatt? Sunday kilowatts that's yeah. a lot of kilowatts what is it on to Sunday be using. yeah um, I yeah. think it was the same it was seven straight so across. those are the two days that were closed yeah seven kilowatts is a lot to be using to and I did I talked to two people or something that you and know. they said well you need to check Gary went and Gary's checked, yeah and he couldn't find anything that was drawing a lot of power he was going to go back power tomorrow can often report that through the smart meter they can tell you where your usage is coming from right? she called them I called and they told me they that we need to check it ourselves I'd, one other thing I thought of, me and Steve, was calling them to see if they can check their meter to see if it's actually yeah. operating correctly. They, they, they are wrong sometimes. Yes. I have experienced them yeah. being wrong. So I, have, we, so I have like a 10 the, kilowatt from, generator that runs my whole house. So 7 kilowatts is a lot. Yeah. I smell a rat. I think it's something to do with <laughs> well, the wiring, though. The lady, we're wondering, the lady we've been wondering that, too. Say, I don't know we don't know where works, to look. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The lady did say if the wires keep shorting, it could be arcing just pulling, or... arcing and pulling yeah. power. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't look. I'll, I'm out tomorrow, but I'll look on Thursday and see if there's any change in because yeah. he fixed the wires. Gary's supposed to be going there tomorrow was the plan to do a really good check. Yeah. I mean, can but you shut everything down and fire everything? That's a process we've been talking yes. about for right. sure. Yeah. For Gary to sit there and turn one thing on at awesome. the yeah and they haven't gotten anything new no new heaters for the buildings or nothing and i don't know somebody's charging their smart car at night <laughs> <laughs> i was thinking did it have something to do with the solar panels i was yeah. i was wondering that yourself but that's, that's a, a whole different that's a directly onto the grid from yeah 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 it doesn't right. seem likely but hmm. Yeah, rats. Are when I get the five hundred dollar bill, and it just started. I mean, it's high in the winter. It started last month. I yeah, take it? the yeah. the last bill, the November fifteenth yeah. to the December fifteenth bill. Yeah. Did we have any events other than the rodents during Maybe that time? Maybe Steve any needs to turn the music or, down a little bit. Maybe. He said he, he hasn't even run it anymore. <laughs> he said he hasn't been running his music much at all lately. And the new backhoe well, can't draw that much no. power for the block heater. Like one are, thing are you, any, you'd any, be surprised any, that block heater will take 
more power than you think. But we, that, that could be it. But they all, yeah. yeah, we always have. But it's a, a new piece here. of equipment. Yeah, but you would think this one would be a little more efficient. I know um, <clears throat> if I le if I left my forklift plugged in for the whole month, it's it's like three hundred fifty bucks. Maybe it is not. I mean, that's maybe. I mean, maybe. It's, Could be. It's a new piece it's of just side with the timing on this. It's something to check well, anyway. Yeah. Well, Gary, I'm sure Gary will check it. Yeah. Well, and the other thing about that is too, they don't necessarily have to leave that thing plugged in. All night long. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. They could, if you get a timer or something, it only needs to be on for like an hour and a half or two for it to start. Yeah. Yeah. Well, only on very cold days, though, right? Right. Like but the past few nights, it probably didn't need to be plugged is it in. Plug at all. in every day? I'm not I, positive. I, have no I don't idea. think they plug it in every day, but I'd have to check. Huh. Hmm. That's a tough one to, in I the mean, winter time. The too. We leave, I think they leave the one on at the salt shed, and we never use more than $100 worth of power there in the yep. winter. Yeah. Interesting. yeah, I think they do, and that's a bigger machine. Yeah, you think I mean, it might depend on the type of blocky. I don't yeah, know. I'm don't just know. saying it might be worth investigating because I know yeah. they can be. Let's constant. let Gary do it and move on to the rest of the yep. agenda. Sounds yeah. good. All right, item nine roads and bridges. 9A is update storm damage recovery. Which storm are we talking I about? I was going to say July <laughs> or yesterday. I think the last of the major projects was done, which is uh, Rose Road. Yep. That yeah. should be paid to I guess. We didn't have significant enough damage to report, report from yeah. yesterday to Wyndham Regional. Yeah, it's less than $20,000. Yeah. Josh yeah. was figuring probably five or six loads of sure pack to no repair so And, and yeah. there's some significant routes on the roads just because. It's like mud weather. season out there, yeah. Yeah, for sure. But. Um, didn't have to close any roads. Um, Spring Hill Road culvert took some damage for sure. That's a narrow lane, but it's open. Reinhardt did too a little bit. Reinhardt's uh, eroded around the header a little bit, but was remained passable. Um, a lot of the work from July's storm really Held. performed well. Mm. Yeah, I agree. Other than that, it was under the mountain road by Hunters. Barker Road had a Barker Road by Moffat's road. Bridge. Yeah. Townsburg, I think they had to put some. Yeah, Townsburg did. But it was nothing significant. Yeah, yeah right by Baybrook, but that was yeah. a problem again. Um, yeah. Baybrook has a. That's a tough spot. Private yeah. culvert that's failed, and yeah. it it continues to Baybrook? backfire on the town road. Where the burned house is at the end of Townsburg. Right. <clears throat> so in general. Um, I think well. things are passable, and I mean it's muddy, it's messy, but they were trying to fly stuff out today. Pretty good, yeah. Hopefully it doesn't freeze solid, but a little bit of firmness help it with yeah. it. Yeah, <laughs> uh, straighten things out pretty quickly. Hopefully. Yeah, they plan to have everything done by Friday. Yep. That's about the only update I have, I guess. Mm -hmm. And then. Um, uh, after the new year, uh, our FEMA representative will be uh, able to meet with us again to, to talk about next steps in uh, the recovery process. <coughs> Bill has been keeping up with uh, uploading all kinds of information. And hopefully we'll start getting uh, reimbursements back from FEMA. And there's, there was an <coughs> extension. Six months extension. Six, six months month extension, yeah, right? right. For, yeah. Yeah, I think Bill's going to attend our first meeting to give us an update. Can I just ask the status of um, Matt King Corey? <coughs> where, where does Governor Scott stand now with... I believe that order is done. So they're done? As far as I know. As far as I know. I think it was know, December 15th. 15th. Yeah. I think it's December 15th. It was December 15th. I know I they moved so. their crushers out. That was my understanding, but then I got nervous that maybe after yesterday something wonky ha maybe has happened. Nothing there was no heard, state yeah. of emergency or anything okay. declared Can on yesterday's storm, I don't there? think. They're not supposed to, according to the town permit, I don't think, anymore. I don't know. I I'd have to I double... I met one of yeah. your trucks this morning when I came Matt in. Matt Yeah, I'd have to check the town's <laughs> permit. Unless he was yeah. coming back from someplace. And, uh, yeah, I couldn't say for sure, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Well, they were doing work up by Hunter's house. Oh, that's right, yeah. And I know they... His, took, his, his road wash. They took yeah. one crossery out already, and there was one parked on Rose Road yesterday. I don't know if it's still there. The 
one large piece of equipment, I think it was a screen. Was it a screen? Was on Dairy Woods going into his pit there yeah. yesterday too. Okay. Thank you. All right. Move on to item 10, old business 10A. Consider adoption of an ordinance regulating short-term rentals. Wait, you had some stuff? I do. So, um, two things. First of all, um, myself, uh, Patty Eisenhower, Mimi Lines, and um, Bill Sensabali uh, began doing a little uh, uh, work on potential language for the zoning. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, just so that they had uh, some place to start with based on the recommendation from the town attorney to remove the limitations insert it into zoning um we present we we met with planning commission previous to today's meeting they have um accepted uh the document that we started they're going to look at it and um they are they made a motion to um, support us and work together in tr drafting the language so that uh, we can keep moving forward. Just to keep you apprised of that. Secondly, on the short term rental ordinance, as um, I was looking through it for one final time before, I'm, I'm going to really encourage us to, to hopefully make a move tonight. Bruce did point out um, a little uh, error on um i don't know what the page is sorry because I'm, I'm working off my old document not this new document but it should be page it's article three section e, e. Um, yeah um, page yes. 12 of 43 yes so it's page 12 of 43 so <clears throat> if you look it says e bed and breakfast uh boarding house motel and n shall have the same definitions as contained in the town of london dairy zoning bylaws as amended from time to time, period. This short-term rental ordinance shall not apply to bed and breakfast, boarding house. We need to add motel in, mm -hmm. just to make the two sentences mm -hmm. yeah. the yeah. same. Yeah. Motels. Motels, sorry. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so that was a, a change that I wanted to make yeah. a note and thank Bruce for being an extra set of eyes because mine were crossing at that point. Um, and then the, the other proposed change or proposed language I'd like for you all to consider is um, on, oh boy, let's see. The it's bottom be, page number should be. I, I, I know, I'm part. trying to, they're pretty darn close, aren't they? Um, okay, so it would be page 13 of 43, number four. Um, I would like to amend that language to say property owners who are not in residence at the property the entire time it is being rented shall <coughs> designate and provide the name and contact information of a designated agent local located in Windsor, Bennington, or Wyndham counties who shall be responsible for responding to emergency situations occurring at the short-term rental dwelling unit. Just How to, does that help you? I mean, what, it just dr drills into more specifics okay. of, uh, of, of... Who has to be where? Yes, right. and, and who ultimately is responsible. So... That's all. Just yeah. Yes. I, I think you can read my scratch there. So th that's that's mine. Mm -hmm. So suggestion. say that again. Property owners. Property would owners, you just say um, property owners not in residence within? And it's going to be a little bit repetitive, but it would be very clear if you said not in residence within Windsor, Bennington, or Wyndham shall designate or provide the name of contact information. Um, are you saying, she's saying not in the building itself. I, I'm saying who are not in residence at the property mm -hmm. the entire time it is being rented. But the property, <clears throat> oh, okay. Yeah. Is what I am saying. Right. I'm, I'm getting mm -hmm. specific. But, um, and, it, and it should not be. Um, 
So residing in the property, or what's the wording, the I guess? Property, what's your property owners who are not in residence at the property the entire time it is being rented shall designate and provide the name and contact information of a designated agent. So, for example, Taylor, yeah. I have an ADU. I live in the house. I live there all the time, 365 days a year. I don't need to have somebody else be a contact and be in charge because I'm there. Right. So I'm the one that is there to handle any situations that might arise. And if you're not, you need somebody right. within these counties. Right. Yeah. Sure. No, I I do understand that. I just the the wording, I guess I was. The wording's a little a little funny, but and but I'm going a little overly specific uh, on wording these days. Just. You know, in the sphere How does of, that work in the case of the gentleman sergeant who has a number of properties up here? Is that, we is, have, well, oh, I'm sorry. There you are. I'm two sorry. Two people on call. Uh, you have people on call. Right, Patrick right. Okay. and Kat, so they both can be there, and she can be there in five minutes. Patrick takes a little longer. Would there ever be situations where you are on the property the way Melissa's describing it? Yeah, half the time. Half I mean, the time. I used to be there all the time. But Got it. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Denise. It's, it's a line. chain of command for us. If I'm not there, I give it to Kat because she's close, and then it goes to Patrick. Yep. So that's 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 where I am. Are those are the only two changes. Draft eight. Now it's draft eight C. But yeah. yes, that's the <laughs> that's the. Uh, that's not bad. The only two changes. So eight eight times we've done this. Eight. Is that all? Eight C times we've done this. <laughs> So, I mean, I'm, I, I would, I'm hoping that this is something that we can say, today's the day. I think we've, I think we've been very thoughtful, yep. and I think we've been very fair in, um, in, in really trying to get all sides of, of this issue. And although I recognize, <clears throat> excuse me, that we're certainly not going to be able to make everyone happy, um, I think that this is a, a starting point and this will allow us to keep um, on our timeline of, um, of, of getting our goals accomplished before we um, end the, the, the fiscal year in, in June. Two things to consider. Page 17 to 43. The effective date. Remember, we were going to try to have someone employed by January 1st to start up the program and have people begin being able to apply in April and have them required to be licensed or registered by July 1st. <coughs> We still might be able to do that, but we're going to have to get someone. We're going to have to get know, a job description and get a move on pretty darn quick. Right. Um, well, so. Not by Jan January 1st. No. That's no. Not happening. No. <laughs> However, can we, can we change these effective dates later? Can, can we accept the ordinance as, as it is mm -hmm. and then modify these dates? It does say. If, Shall not take effect until July one. I think that's it. That's, that's very normal. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. But, um, registration may be accepted by the administrator beginning April first. Well, maybe. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe not. not. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But but no. But it, thank you for pointing that out. So and, it's sort of holding mm -hmm. our feet to the fire. Yeah. So you know, if the board were to do this, I think my next order of business would put, would be to put together a job description, which would. You know, do we want this to be part of someone else's job? Do we want this to be a part-time job, eventually a full-time? So that's another discussion. Maybe that could take place at a subsequent meeting. Also, we wanted to talk about establishing fees, and which was going to be a standalone um, decision, not part of the ordinance. Yeah. And maybe one thing to do is discuss that at a next meeting, or wait until, you know, assuming for a second this gets approved, there, I think it is 40 days it's, uh, it can be appealed. Oh. 60. Well, um, 60. 60 is the amount of days. 60 days unless the within 44 is days. Oh, okay. So yeah. within 44, 44 days, if there's a, the a petition, then it goes to town meeting. So you could, we could just wait out those 44 days. 
and then establish what those fees would be. Mm -hmm. yeah. talk, the board had talked about 600 bucks. Um, you know, we could also see what other towns are doing. Mm -hmm. right? But um, just wanted to point that out as, as something that we'll need to get done, mm -hmm. either sooner or later. Um, probably the sooner is better for those who are, you know, on the, on the business side, <coughs> would like to know what their expenses would be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But again, if if it gets uh, petitioned and it goes to a town meeting and gets turned down, then it almost doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. So there's no rush to do those fees, in other words. Mm -hmm. But again, I just wanted to bring them up. <clears throat> I have one quick question. Um, the language is being moved over to um, zoning and bylaws. How do we how do we stay abreast of like what what is sort of shifting? Uh, you can go to zone. You can go to planning commission meetings. Okay. Yeah. I think that is is one way. Yeah. And there'll be and public hearings before the zoning is ever adopted. Okay, and the and the zoning stuff is grandfathered in. In other words, what I have permits for. I'm okay on if it goes to zoning because that language, the restrictive language was scratched, correct? Correct. 6A or whatever it was. The, well, it was it was not scratched. Right. It was moved from the ordinance. It will be moved into zoning. Right. But if we so I can't speak to already. grandfathering and any of that. That's a, a little bit out of my pay grade. Right. Um, that board. would probably be a question for the zoning administrator. I believe you're grandfathered, right? Shane, with ordinance? Yeah. Or with a if, zoning? If you're legal yeah. under a zoning ordinance and the zoning ordinance changes, mm -hmm. and changes in such a way that it makes what you're doing non-conforming, mm -hmm. you are grandfathered or a pre-existing non-conforming At the time of the permit or the pouring of the foundation or the building of the structure? That's a good question. I think it would have more to do with the operation of the STR, not the building that it takes place in, but I don't know the exact answer of that. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, you'd need to yes, yeah, Steve Ancuda can tell you in a minute in a minute, but it, I think it says any use and therefore use is something that's that's active. Okay. It's just, you know, going back to the first meeting that we had, it really for me it's a it's, it's a life and death situation, as I think you guys all know. But I took out two loans with the current laws to be able to build what I was told I could build. And now that's all changing, and I'm very happy with the ordinance, and I do appreciate you guys being very fair. I think it's fine. <clears throat> but if suddenly all these things are flipped on me, I just I will lose my livelihood and my family home. I wouldn't take this as a guarantee or nothing, but I have a feeling once you have the permit, you're probably good. I don't think so. But I'm not saying that it's official because I'm not positive, but that's my feeling. Yeah. Really, on the, on the town side, it would be the zoning. <coughs> Excuse me, so sorry. Um, zoning administrator who makes that call. <coughs> but I know your attorney, Steve Ancuda, would know it. So, I just might as well just do it. Yeah. Well, I move to adopt the ordinance to regulate the operation of short term rentals as amended. Such ordinance to take effect after 60 days unless a petition is filed as provided for under 24 VSA 1973. 1973 B. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. There we go. Cross that one off the list. Um, now what I'll, I'll need to do is get this, create a final copy, and I'll have it out to for people to come by and sign over the next yeah. day or so. Great. We could even do it tonight. Yeah, I'll do it tonight because I'm going to be gone for a while. And then we'll probably need to post that at the post office. Yeah, there's a posting protocol. It has to be filed with Kelly tomorrow. Does that have to go on the paper? Um, yeah, I'll have to do a paper. I've got a boilerplate one I, I can do tomorrow afternoon, probably. Um, but yeah, it's, it's not a big deal. We, we have we, 10 days to post it in yeah. the newspaper. Because we just put, a, put where you can find it in the paper, right? We wouldn't be putting the whole ordinance in the paper. 
Correct. You, um, you just have to put notice of it and I think a brief description of what it yeah. pertains to. So right. yeah, I've, I've got boiler plates that I use and uh, Perfect. I'll take care of that. Great. Right. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Right. Moving on to 10B, consider amendments to the personnel policy. Um, I would request that we skip over this for now and go to the uh, appropriations because that's going to take a while and that needs to get done. I'm okay with that. I would like a little more time with the personnel policy. Anyhow, if that's okay. Yeah. So I think I would myself. Sounds good. I, I have not been able to give it my full attention. Yeah. So. So, item 11, new business, 11A, review and discuss annual community and social service appropriations. You'll see that I gave you a comparison from the smallest print possible. I know, but I couldn't, so I wanted small. it all on one page. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's so tiny. Um, and since 2021, we've increased by $65,000 if, if, if you vote all those appropriations. Which is I'm getting a little out of control if you ask me. Well, well, I think the participation in this type of funding has increased, obviously. The numbers of some, but also yeah. some additional ones. Big ones too, really. I wouldn't say there's too many new ones since I started the <coughs> board, though. Actually, there there really isn't. The London, the trans, the Londonderry transport is that's, new in the last new. two years. In my community, nurse that's is probably one. one of the other newest ones. That's probably um, most of the real new ones. What's that? That's probably most of the new ones. Yeah. Um, I don't remember too many people jumping on this that well, weren't that's already all. asking. That's um, almost 20,000 right there. I did not hear two, from right? Montessori School 17. Yeah. and FBAA, given the current circumstance of <coughs> the rec director, has decided not to ask um, when we figure all that out. Um, Aren't they usually late anyway? Sometimes. Um, but they should have had it to me Friday, but they weren't planning on getting me anything. So. Right. Um, I don't know what happened to Montessori School. They reached out to me a couple months ago, and then I never heard anything, so. Um, I mean, if you look at it right here, you can see some of the only new ones were those two, really, yeah. in the last four years. The ones that are blank all the way to. Yeah. 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 So what were you hoping for us to do, Tom, is just go line by line and just that's, have a discussion? That's how we yeah. do it usually. Yeah. Okay. So why is um, Champion up? I, so they sent me their request and I suggested that they might want to send me something that said why they were asking for 20000 more, but I never heard anything. Unless any of you talked to... Are any of you guys on the, on the squad there? No. The only thing I heard is, I heard Brief mention that they don't want to talk about the paving they did. So I guess that cost $6,400 in front of the fire station, but other than that, I have no idea why. I, I was going to ask if it had something to do with the flooding. Or... I'd also like to know what they net in their in their donations that they get. I mean, I suspect um, you can look at their town. They give us a financial every year. It's in the town report. Do they? Yeah. yeah. So does Cha so does Phoenix. Yeah. <coughs> well, and this has nothing to do with equipment or anything like that. Either, no, because that no. was separate, right? Yeah. 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 Well, I would or say, I, say vehicles. I would say the chief should come and talk to us. Yeah, it's just an extraordinary expense. Yeah, but
20 and do 20 yeah. and if they want to petition for yep. 20 more they can yeah. that sound fair to everyone yes yep. y yes and, and and i mean they should just know that we're not we're not saying no we just would like to know what the money is yeah. is for yeah, yeah. Uh, excuse me tom yep uh since i don't have a copy of that could you just tell me the names of people in, in the uh mm -hmm. that you start yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah, you can. Never mind. Yeah. So it's very small. Page 42, Paul. Oh, nice. It's very small. This is reading glasses. One. Yep. I got it. <laughs> this is a fun one every year. Uh, Friends of the West River Trail, they had missed out a couple of years. The last time was during COVID, and we lo we remember we lowered everybody yep. during COVID. And They'd like to be so back they to went back to their thousand. I don't know. They they will have to be a separate article if you decide to include them because they haven't been on. Did they ask this year? Yep. You don't have anything. Yep, yet. a thousand. Oh, well, we've skipped Floodbrook Athletic Association. Oh, they're they're not, they're not asking, asking for anything. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. Never mind. All right. Are we zero basing this whole budget? We're going to go through each one. Oh yeah. What's that? Yeah, we go through each one. You are okay. Yep. Yep. So, Friends of the West River Trail, do you want to leave it at a thousand? Do you want to? I think we're. We kind of have to discuss, decide if we're. Are we still in a situation where we need to cut everything back, or are we willing to consider leaving people whole our, if we can? Our budget's going to be big this year. Yeah. Our what? Our budget's going to be big. Thanks, guys. Okay. Thank, Thank you, Thank you. Um, I think. I, you know, I know. So, do we want to sharpen our pencils? Things. Well, that's what I'm saying. Maybe we should think about how we're going to treat all of them before we decide on any of them. If we're if we are trimming, let's trim everybody. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or are we just going to stay flat? And if they want more, they can petition. I mean, there's one, two, three, <coughs> four, five, six who are asking for more. Correct. Um, <clears throat> What's the savings on the difference? I mean, it's... Uh, 23, well, if you take 20 out of 148, so you'd add a 120. Eight. It's about 40,000. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, me and Tina have also discussed before given a cap on these appropriations. Because as you can see, in four years, it's gone up $60,000. And who knows what the next four years are going to bring. Well, you have to think about the four years. I'm sorry, Martha. Like, you have to think about the cost of living. You have to, I mean, there's so many things that go into it. It's not just that they're asking for more because they can. I'd like to think that their expenses have also gone up. Everything has doubled in the last three years. Yeah, and the yeah. safety right. net programs... They're probably getting used a lot more yeah, they're getting because used. I mean, the everyone's getting squeezed. Volume so of the pantry's gone up significantly. I, it, it's tough to. It's this is a, this is a hard thing to do because yeah. it's. Oh yeah. Well, we're not, this is not an easy one. I mean, limit limit the contribution to a proportion of their budget, of their overall budget. So if, if you've got a small entity and a larger entity, if you're Looking to fill one percent. We don't have that info. We don't know what. Yeah, yeah, we okay. do. yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. Oh, you do. They have yeah. to give us. Have to give if, they, if we don't get financials, they don't get us. Otherwise, yeah, some think, comp some organizations organizations were savvy and they just ask every year more and more and they yeah, get it and they right. get it. Yeah. I mean, while those who are more conservative conservative wouldn't do it. I mean, a lot of these organizations have a lot of money stashed away. I mean, they have to report all their assets. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Well, and to that point, I think it is important to keep things in check a little bit where an organization with larger operating budget is going to need a higher number. So just putting a flat cap on things might not really capture no. the limitation that we're looking for. No. The percentage, I think, is a better approach. Maybe. That one, I don't think we could do this year, though, because we kind of got to approve these tonight. Yeah, they've got to yeah. be approved. Yeah. But that could be gotta, something we look at time next year. Get. Petitions. I yeah. like the idea of going to <clears throat> the prior years and allowing for petitions above those changes. So if we 
So anybody that's going up from last year's allocation, right? Just has to petition <coughs> why. But what would we do here at uh, Friends of the West River Trail? We'd go back to the 500? Because they've asked for 1,000 and they've asked for 5. Well, we cut, oh, no, we cut them to 5. We so, cut them to yeah. 5 because we cut everybody. Yeah. I would yeah, consider them the same, I guess. That, that yeah. I, wouldn't, I would consider that them flat at 1,000. Okay. All right. So go all the way down to the historical system. So now we got Grace Cottage. We'll leave that. Everybody in agreement there? Yeah, hang on Same. one minute. Sorry. Where are you? Next one down from Friends of the West River Trail. That's staying flat at a thousand. Yep, that's yep. flat. You know, our SVP hasn't changed in twenty years. Grace uh, Greater North. Oh, Gnat's the same. Are we saying the same for them, and then you're, now you're at... next one that goes up is the historical Green society. Yeah, uh, if you yeah. go down to the difference line, yeah. the historical society is the next yeah. one. So we're just checking so we'll just all the way down to... Yeah. So do we want to make them petition for... I would. Yes. Yeah. Well, no, we're actually... Uh, the rescue squad's asking for $750 more. Wait, Wait where are we're you? Not, that's the next line down. So yes. Under the historical society. Yeah, but yeah. Melissa's point was, let's make sure yeah, that yeah. the historical society gives us a reason why they need to go up another yeah. thousand. So we'll do the thousand and they can petition them. Correct. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. The rescue squad up 750, same thing. I mean, if we're, if we're setting a standard, <coughs> yeah. anybody yeah. who's asking for more than yeah. what they asked for in the previous year just needs to tell us why. I mean, it, it, it seems a little ridiculous to have somebody tell us why they need 130 I, more dollars, but that I think that we have to stay the same for everyone. Yes, yep. and I can put that in the, you know, we yep. made a mm -hmm. blanket decision. Yep. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, of course. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, without information telling us why you requested more, you yeah. can You know what, <laughs> it was, was there a deadline date for filing? I'm just wondering why the Montessori school failed it. Yes, just last Friday. Was they, the they missed. And that doesn't mean that they're, they're excluded. It just means that they'll not they have, have to petition. petition. Yeah. Okay, all right, leave it. Yep. So and they some, received ARPA money two yeah, years Yeah, they did in get row, some. Too, yes. So yes. Yes. yes, they have. I think that's... They made and it and, it and I'm wondering, so they called me to ask me if they could ask for money for education. <clears> and they... And, so I don't know if you probably don't all know this, but because they receive preschool collaborative mm -hmm. money, they we can't give them money to <clears throat> the three to five year old program. Right. We can give them money to use in their two to two and three year old program because then they're if they use it for education, it's violating education law. Yes. And maybe they decided they didn't have anything. I don't know if they're even <coughs> open, if that two and three year old room is open. No, I do. The board so member that I know is not. They may have decided that they couldn't yeah. ask for it. Right. 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 Well, we'll see. I mean, stay tuned. They can always petition. Yep. Yeah. So. Savage, 5307. Senior Solutions, I believe, is the Meals on Wheels program. And I know from my husband that their numbers continue to creep up. But you so they'll petition. No petition. Yeah. The London Dairy Transport for Neighborhood Connections. Yeah. That's a big um, increase. And so in their letter, they did ask that we budget that. And I, it's a social service. I don't think mm -hmm. we can budget that. No. I think it has to be. Yes. It's a social service. What are you it's saying? Not part of the town yeah. government. What's that? I'm not sure I follow what you're saying. They're, they're not a town entity. Right. They're a social service, which is what the appropriations is for, for social services to. They, so does that mean you? They're okay to be asking for money. They're well, okay they can to ask, ask for money. Yeah. yeah. But they're they asked, asked us to put budget. it in our budget. Oh, in the, oh, I got you. Yeah. 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 Right. Which we cannot. Yeah. Yes. I hear what you're saying. And so. they did receive. Arpa money. Arpa money. Yeah. Also. Yeah. <clears throat> you recall. Um, it, I think it was stated that this transportation portion of um, neighborhood connections has become the, basically huge. the largest part of um, their expenses. Mm -hmm. one, maybe one of two, with the nursing being the other, the 
um, yeah. nurse program being the It is a vital. Program. So do we want to make them petition? Vital yes. Service. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. They didn't send information with the request for 11,000. Well, she, they did. They asked, they just said that they were asking, that's what, this is what they were asking for, asking if we would put it in our budget. Right. And not as an appropriation. So, the, w I mean, I, I, yeah. I look forward to, to hearing um, w w where the money is needed. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to, well, we'll wait, but. I think they, they verbally said it was basically for the van and fuel. Yes. And yeah, it's for the equipment to be I mean, able to provide It's all run by volunteers, but there right. are expenses to the... But, yeah. Yeah. Well, they get F, but I'm surprised. They get FTA funding. Yeah, there must be yes, some state, there's state funding federal funding, federal funding, state funding, funding for that. Yeah. The federal Transit Administration would give them money. So we just have to drill you know, down on that. They've to avoided see. any kind of federal money for stuff. So I'm wondering if maybe this is another area well, they've avoided. FTA is just loaded with money for, for, for transit. Yeah. And they should. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. So fire department, they stayed the same. Yeah. Uh, the collaborative up, up there asked for $2,500. So. Ask them back. Yep. We'll, we'll, we'll find out. Yep. Yep. Who cares? Next one, 2742 for... Valley Cares. That? Valley Cares. Same. Visiting yeah. nurse is the same. Yep. What is Vermont Rural <coughs> Fire Protection? It's is the it? company that puts in the dry hydrants around town. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Okay. And $100 <coughs> doesn't even... Cover. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I'm surprised they don't have it's more. It's a. It's a. Do we actually spend it? Huh? Do we actually spend it? Do we just give it to them, or we give it, it to them? Is, yeah, we give it to and them. And then, and they put in every time the fire department's column for dry hydrant. If they have mm -hmm. a location, they come. That's not. I mean, that. That's not a match. That hundred. That's no. just. You just give it to them. We just yeah. give them an appropriation. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So cheapest one on the whole list. Yeah. Hmm. Where are we at now? Um, and then we the go. Humane Society went down. Oh, we should make I a guess. petition to go down. Yes. <laughs> Ask them why. <laughs> right. How many cats are going to be forfeit? I'm surprised they went down since they built a new building. But whatever. I don't know. They missed a few years. Yeah. Youth services is the same. Yeah. I'm sure they have a pretty. Women's Freedom Center is the same. Library is the same. And neighborhood connections is the same. Check, check, check. So what's that give us then? We took 20. 20 You're not including 20, the ones that didn't apply, is that? 30, it's 38,970. Right, that's a big hit. So that's. And then the ones that didn't apply. So that brings it down to. 110-ish. I'd be curious to know what other towns our size do in terms of appropriations. Every town has a different I policy know. in the way they yeah. do it. Yeah. Some make you come in every year. Some, some make, make you petition, petition every, every year. year. <coughs> yeah. mm -hmm. What did you say it was? 38? 38.9. I think. Let's see. 35, 37, 38, 9, 7. <coughs> I didn't do the 70 part, but... It'd be like one nine minus seventy. Yeah. So we're pretty close to the. It'd be one hundred nine thousand four hundred twenty-two. One hundred nine four twenty-two. One hundred nine four two two. If I did my math correctly, but it'd be close to that at least. So we're. So that's a proposed so we're close amount mm -hmm. yeah. in the two articles. Yeah. That we keep. And that's close to what so it was. They have to. Two years ago. Mm-hmm. They have to petition by five percent over twenty twenty two. Let's see. Um, I think they have to have their petitions in by the nineteenth, <coughs> and we'll approve the warning on the twenty second. This is January. Yeah. So you need to move your meetings. All right. So petitions have to be in by. Sorry, will you repeat that? 
the uh, petitions have to be in by the 19th and then you the warning will be approved on the 22nd at that meeting and that would be an increase of 26,120 since 21 which is yeah. far better than 60. Yeah. so we have the special meeting for the 22nd <coughs> Well, I thought that's what you were moving. No, we have. Work. Yeah, we're we're proposing to meet on the twenty second. That's the ultimate date. Got yep. It. Yeah. So we're in line with that. But yes, because um, I also um, would like to have just a budget meeting sometime the first week of January, so we can go line by line mm -hmm. and with nothing else on the agenda. Yep. Um, Fair enough. And so I'll try to have every. Try to get everything out to you next week. Mm -hmm. You mean like somewhere between the second and the fifth? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, you got you ladies need to go. Yes. So let's yeah. get on to the last one quick. Fourteen B. Consider changes. No, do you to need to make a motion for this? Oh yeah. No, oh. for the yeah. appropriations. No, because we're not putting them on the yeah. yet. So consider changes to January select board meeting schedule. Okay. okay. So similar to last year, uh, meeting. We did January fall on the uh, on the first, and then on uh, Martin Luther King Jr. holiday. I'm sure, no one's going to be very ready for a select board meeting Thanks, on Bob. the first. <laughs> okay. Have a great Christmas. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Does the eighth and twenty second work for everyone? Yes. Looks great. Oh, I believe so. All right. Also, and just. Looking forward a little bit in March, on March 4th, that would be, um, probably should keep that meeting because it's the night before town, town, town meeting. meeting yeah. um, so maybe not switch those out. But anyway. Can we do that? Deal with that later. Great. Yeah. Well, no I, I move to adjust the regular select board meeting schedule for January 2024 to meet on January 8th and 22nd instead of January 1st and 15th. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Who wants the last one? I motion to adjourn. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you guys. Merry Thank you. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Happy New Year. Merry